Your final hero in the book is a man called Charlie Verin. Tell me his story and how he became associated with the reef. Charlie is an incredible guy. So he's still living in Townsville, um, where he's lived for a great deal of his life. He was pretty much a self-made scientist. I mean, he did go to uni and he did um, get a, a PhD, but he did so entirely on his own. You know, he was a follower of nature, a lover of nature like Darwin. He got the name Charlie as a nickname. Um, when he was six, after Darwin, and he's been known as Charlie ever since. But he came to Townsville when Townsville, when the university was established, and he was their first professional researcher. He was told to go out there and do something. That was it, go that out there and it. do something, right. He, um, yeah. he, could, he couldn't, you know, fathom what was going on he had these books that told him about coral, and when he dived underwater, it was nothing like the books because they hadn't been made by people who'd seen living coral. So his first challenge was to map living corals, which he did for a very long time. He, mapped, he spent 7,000 hours diving on the reef. I mean, there's probably not a spot in the whole reef that Charlie Verin hasn't seen. He made this speech that attracted worldwide headlines in 2009 to the Royal Society in London, the famous very, very old Society of Scientists, and it was introduced by David Attenborough. Uh, just explain what the gist of his speech was and how it went over with the crowd. Charlie was telling them something that a lot of people still don't realise, that the Great Barrier Reef and corals are the canaries of climate change. The, the canaries, like the canaries that used to be taken down the mines, and if they, if they could smell any toxic gases, the little canary would keel over before the humans got troubled. Well, in a sense, that's what is happening with the reefs. And the coral reefs, and particularly the barrier reef, as far as Charlie was concerned, are showing us just what a dangerous situation we are creating with climate change. 